Hi YouTubers, I'm back um, for the second instalment of my 12 rules for Christian manhood. I, it got cut off sort of slightly at the, at the end and you're probably thinking, well why didn't you put it all in one video? That is a very good question, but I got called away so I couldn't do that. Um, and I didn't really want to record the whole the first video again. So here is my second part to the 12 rules. We were last on rule number 11, which was never expect from another that which you are not going to give yourself. This is uh, very important because if you're about to go into a relationship with somebody and you are someone who sits at home, chuffs dairy milk and doesn't do the gym, doesn't do anything, doesn't go out or anything, you can't then inspect that from the person you want to date. You have to expect what you yourself are willing to put into the relationship or at least to the same level it doesn't have to be the same things but the same level because it's really hypocritical and bad character to expect of someone else a more of a level of, of, of ability desire whatever you which is more than you're willing to put in you know to your life because interesting people look for interesting people and if you're not an interesting person has passions and things you're doing in your life which are good why expect an interesting person to come along? So that's number 11, very, very important as well. Number 12, seek to replace the lies people believe about themselves with the truth. So a lot of people believe lies. They believe uh, lies from a very young age and they get involved in what's called a, a self-fulfilling prophecy. And what I mean by that is, uh, let's say for instance, when somebody's 13, some bully calls them a loser and they start to believe, yes, I'm a loser. So the more that they think they're a loser, the more they become a loser. And the more other people think they're a loser, the more they become a loser, the more the... so on and so forth. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. But we need to be people who say, no, actually, we, I see you after how God sees you. You know, and so often God calls what isn't to become what is. What I mean, mean by that is, God doesn't believe anybody's a loser, particularly not those who are children of his. So as a child of God, you don't have to believe that you're, you know, negative thing like loser, uh, failure, or whatever, worthless, uh, whatever it is you might believe. So as a, as a Christian man, if you are somebody who doesn't believe these things and believes the right things about himself, Teach others also to believe the right things about themselves. Don't do it in a condescending bull in a china shop way, but do it in a way that says, look, I care about you. I want you to believe the right things about yourself. So this is why I'm saying this and, and, and maybe say it in a humorous way, in a way that isn't too intense. It, try to get the message across that they are not this self-fulfilling prophecy that they are living. They're not the bad words they say about each, uh, themselves. So this is really, really important. So anyway, that is my 12 rules for Christian manhood. Thank you for watching.